Today we have with us Ishan Kosla, designer and educator. Hello, welcome. Hi, thanks. Uh, I'm really happy to be here. I'll start off with a question. What do you like in typography and how did your passion for that craft started? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I guess, you know, I used to live in the U.S. for many years and I came back to India after 12 years of being there. And uh, I realized that in graphic design and typography, there is no connection to our own culture. Uh, everything is coming from the West, right? Copying either Japan or uh, London or New York. How do I create an Indian graphic design language? And one way was to look at our crafts. And that's how I got interested in craft and going to the villages and working with craft people. It's really interesting. And what, in your opinion, is the significance and importance of education for students of our age? Yeah, I think uh, nowadays students are, unlike when I was a student, I think you guys are exposed to so much more media and social media, internet, all this stuff. There's a lot of, in my opinion, distraction. And I think education is one opportunity where you can really uh, shape your mind, your conceptual thinking, way of, you know, like basically thinking about the world. Because once you join a job and get into the rat race, as they call it, you will be too involved in making money and surviving the system. And so this is a really rare opportunity. I tell even my students back in India, please don't miss out and try to be involved in, in all the stuff you are doing and push yourself right now. Could you tell a few words about the Typecraft Initiative? Sure. Um, so the Typecraft Initiative was started uh, 10 years ago. And uh, the main idea was how do I, as a graphic designer, uh, have a dialogue with someone in a village, uh, like in India, uh, in a very remote area who's different from me and doesn't speak the same language sometimes, uh, different background, uh, and still make something together. Uh, so that is the, how it started out and we make, it's uh, most of the people are voluntary and we basically collaborate with various people. It's about diversity, celebrating diversity. Uh, diverse culture, religion, gender, gender orientation. Uh, it's about, because now the world is becoming very right wing, we see that this is a way to oppose that through typography and graphic design. So it's about celebrating difference and uh, individuality. That sounds amazing. And could you give us a little bit of insight about what's going on here, about the workshop that you're conducting now? Sure. Um, so this workshop, it's on for five days, and uh, we are now on the fourth day. Uh, so there are two groups of students. They are working on two different Indian crafts that I had given them. Uh, so they have to understand the craft, where it comes from, the context, and they had created a presentation on the first day. Now they are making letter forms uh, you know, from that craft. And the final part of the assignment, which they have to finish today, is to look at something they are afraid of uh, and represent that fear in the typography. Cannot wait to see the outcomes of this workshop. Uh, you mentioned that you were lived in U.S. and would you tell what are the differences for you between education in India and United States? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, in the U.S. it's of course very well. It's developed. It's in place in in the sense that it's been there for a long time, and there are many good colleges. India, of course, has good colleges, but. Overall, you know, it's not uh, quite as took in power of the U.S., I would say. But I think in India, we're looking at the wrong thing. We are look India is also very uh, Bauhausian, you know, like the Indian uh, design education is coming from Bauhaus, Swiss and German mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, style. We are not looking at our own culture. I think if we look at our own culture, like they do in Japan, for instance, uh, or Netherlands, I think we would have a more successful education. Uh, so I think that's where Indian education is struggling, is to get its own voice. Thank you for the insight. And for the last more specific question, what is the difference for you between craft and design? Oh, that's a good question. And it's an eternal question. Uh, so if you look at even typography and graphic design, it was a craft earlier. Before Industrial Revolution, we would be all working in a metal forge right now, carving letters. So it started with handmade that was handmade, and then Industrial Revolution basically uh, created a schism and, uh, between craft, which became associated with anything that's done by hand or manual, 
and design, which is more about the mind and the concept and the thinking. So there was this division that has happened. In my opinion, we have to kind of be both. I mean, that's the true designer should be a craftsperson mm -hmm. also. I have to ask one more question. What is your what is your uh, message to students, to the people who are interested in typography, who are young and don't know what direction to take their passion in, and maybe some ideas from the mentors that you had when you were younger? Yeah, I would say uh, find your voice, right? Like find who, who are you through typography, through design. Ultimately, people are interested in unique voices and original, originality. Uh, today we are bombarded with media and, uh, and Netflix and design and all of this stuff. So it's very hard to find your own voice in this crowded world. Uh, so, but you have to sometimes shut down everything. Don't watch anything. I mean, this is what I used to do and I still suggest students to do if they can. Shut down everything and just focus on what is their own original idea and concept rather than be influenced. Thank you very much and thank you for doing this interview with us. Thank really you so blessed. Much. Thanks for having me.